Welcome back. Before the break, we asked who invented the Caesar salad? The choices there are on your screen. Julius Caesar, Cesar Cardini, Antonio Caesar, Julia Childs. Ah, but the answer is B. Cesar Gardini. Oh, he would be so proud. We're I talking know. About. A restaurant tour was trying to feed hungry crowd and realized he was short on veggies, so he created a new type of salad with what he had on hand. The rest, as they say, is, is history. Time. And the Caesar salad is also the star of the longest running culinary event right here in Houston. One of the contestants, Chef Maurizio Ferrarese with Sud Italia, is here with a preview of the annual Caesar salad competition. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, and you're giving away some of your secrets ahead no, of this no. competition, right? I didn't say that. You didn't say no. that. No, okay. Okay, <laughs> perfect. But today, you're going to show us how to create a, a different version of this salad, and it's fresh and packed with flavor, right? Right. So, so we're going to do a dressing. Actually, I think uh, I heard uh, you guys are going to cook, correct? Well, well so if you, trust I, you us can too. call it cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have uh, in uh, we are pasteurizing the egg yolks right now. We need to add the ingredients, and uh, in the Caesar dressing I'm making right now, uh, I'm gonna have uh, some Dijon mustard, garlic, confit, a little bit of anchovies, and Parmesan cheese. Okay. So if you feel like, uh, when I'm follow me, or me to, to do it. Okay. I'm gonna do a touch of uh, Dijon mustard. If you can get me the okay. grain mustard, just a little bit, just not too much. Is that too much? No, that's fine. And that's okay. Ah, uh, too much. No, oh, I'm kidding. Oh, I'm just... oh. I don't want to ruin it. He already messed it up. <laughs> and then a touch of uh, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan. Great uh, Parmigiano. And Maurizio, yes. so you are pasteurizing these ingredients? Uh, I'm pasteurizing the egg yolk. The egg yolk. The egg yolk is already inside. As you can see, uh, this one is a thermomix, so it warms up. In the meantime, it blends. So it's going to cook it, pasteurize it, and then I'm uh, going to uh, blend it. And that makes it safe to eat, right? Mm hmm So you don't recommend using raw egg yolks at home for our viewers? Well, you say that already. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so no, I don't recommend it. raw egg yolks, he, Mauricio doesn't recommend it, but proceed at your own risk. We don't want anyone getting sick. So we have a couple of anchovies, and then uh, I do a little bit of Italian touch. So, Caesar, you know that Caesar is not Italian, correct? Right, So, I'm right. going to do an Italian touch. It's a colatura di alici, which is the juice of the uh, anchovies. Oh. Oh, that sounds, sounds like the cologne I wear. <laughs> oh, yeah. do I smell it? Uh, it smells like home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right. And now we are going to emulsify it. So, we can uh, add a touch of olive oil. Okay. Just a little bit, not too much. Maybe a little bit more. You want to do what it? is this thing? What, what is this? <laughs> the machine? Yeah. The device. It's called a, a thermomix. Oh, a thermomix. Uh -huh. Okay. And why is it that you do the ingredients, Maurizio, one by one? Why couldn't you just put it all in at once? Because time? we are in TV. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's more Perfect interesting answer. this way. <laughs> Keep going? Yeah, please. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a little bit more. Yeah, go, go. Don't be, don't be shy. Okay. Go, go. Really? We like o olive oil. In Italy, okay. we love it. And I know it's it's impossible for our viewers at home to see through the side of this steel container, but it looks sort of like the consistency of pancake batter, I would say. Uh, yeah, more? a little bit more. Go more. for it, go okay. for it, go for okay. it. Let me add, let me add, let me All right. No fighting. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me just uh, show. Oh. oh, dear. Was it, it, up? it does look like pancake batter. So I don't batter. know if you guys can see it. Yeah. It looks like a scissor dressing. Yes. Beautiful. It does. All right. Anyhow, so uh, what we're going to do right now, a touch of uh, cheese. I'm going to add uh, a frico. Frico is an Italian uh, uh, crispy cheese. Oh, oh that is how you make like it. Beans. That's how you make it, you see? Uh -huh. So you're grating the cheese into this hot pan on mm -hmm. the stove. That's right. So and good. it smells so good. This is what you just said. We're going to... Is this one of your secrets? No. It's okay. just something that I always do. Oh, it, okay. <laughs> it's something I always do, too. <laughs> <laughs> every, every morning. Day. Every day. I, and then we wrap I it up. I start my day without doing what oh, you, you just wrap did. It on we that. wrap it up. And then, uh, as you can see, the presentation uh, we are having right there, mm -hmm. we Mauricio. have a touch of uh, Caesar dressing on the bottom. Look at and that. Uh, a little bit of uh, Caesar uh, and wrap it with crouton of uh, Parmigiano. That is genius. And is this kind of eat ready it to eat? go? Mm -hmm. You can just keep dipping mm -hmm. it. You is can this try. how you're going to do it at the comp? Uh, no, I already show you right mm. now. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing at the competition then? What you, am I doing in the competition? No, I haven't thought about it yet. You haven't thought about it? No, it's still a week to go, correct? A week to see. I should have been born Italian. You, you should. Let me cast some oh. more.
The competition, by the way, we should point out that it does benefit all kinds of scholarships. We're seeing some photos on the screen right here, right now from years past. And check it out. People get so into this dressing up. What's your costume going to be? I know. Have you planned it? Yeah, look at this one. Uh -huh. I'm just going to wear a hat. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah. This is delicious. This is really, really amazing. And... Oh, sorry, Courtney, go ahead. No, I was so, so what we're doing, you, you guys can play if you want to make a couple of extra dishes so, so we can cut the low main ladder so we wash them up mm -hmm. right here. And then uh, we have uh, the dressing that uh, from here it okay. went right inside. You Magic see, of TV. So we can try to make it. And let's say someone wants to try this at home. These are just beautiful romaine plants that you have. Why yes. are they why are they soaking in water right well, now? Well, inside there, there's uh, water, a touch of uh, vinegar also. Oh. And it just wash them up and uh, refresh the lettuce itself. And would you, okay, so if you're plucking the romaine, how long can you leave it in the water? How long should you leave it in the water before you serve it? You can leave it five, six, seven minutes, ten minutes. So it's not going to okay. hurt. The water is not going to hurt the lettuce itself. Actually, it's always advised to regenerate the uh, lettuce itself in water. You know, it's a much more interesting way, by the way. If you had a party and wanted to serve an appetizer... Well, it's just easier to eat. You can do it like eat, this. It right? is easier to eat. Absolutely. Yeah. Do people always ask you if a Caesar salad is... From, is Italian? Well, it is the uh, people what they think. Everybody does, I'm right? I'm very tell you that I was born and raised in Italy and it's not our tradition. Not at all. <laughs> but we have to adapt ourselves, correct? And you make it better than anyone else. We have the info on the screen uh, right there. Caesar Salad Competition, Houston.com. It'll be a fun event. Dress up, eat, drink, be merry. Have a great time, Maurizio. It's an awesome time. Thank you. Cheers. Well, Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. I ate Delicious. my salad. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next.